welcome to Capacity TV. My name is Nadine Hawkins and I'm the editor at Capacity. We're here at Data Cloud USA and today I'm joined by Thomas Healy, founder and CEO of Hylion. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. The Carnot generator has been described as a breakthrough innovation in terms of power generation. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? What sets it apart and what do you see its potential? Absolutely. So we've created a new way of making electricity. Uh, it's designed to be a modular power plant technology. So what that means is it's really enabling you to actually make the electricity you need right on site, on site, right outside of the facility, as opposed to being reliant on the grid or having to you know, source from a big power yeah. plant. You now can make your own electricity and it's designed in a way where it actually is cost effective, it's reliable, and it's truly fuel agnostic. So you can use what fuels you have available to you, make electricity very efficient, even more efficient than the grid in most instances, uh, and produce the power you need right on site. And we're talking a lot about power. It's a, a key issue for the data center industry. How do you just highly on view that as solving the, the energy challenges that we face just now? So data centers are going to their utilities and the utility is saying they just don't have power available anymore. They're out of capacity. And so what that's forcing is the data centers are saying, okay, we need to make power on site. And now they're looking at, well, what technologies can really do that? Do you go to a conventional internal combustion engine, which have been around for a long time, but efficiency maybe suffers, the maintenance is pretty heavy, or do you go to a new age technology, like our Carnot modular power plant, and that enables you to really have the performance of a big power plant, but do it on a small modular scale, where you can stack these systems together to get the amount of power that you actually need at that facility. And so what that's allowing is, you take a location like Ireland or Virginia, where they've said, data centers, if you want to build another one here, the grid is not going to have the power. Uh, you need to bring your own electricity. Well, now we're really enabling an efficient, effective way to do that. That's amazing. And how does Carnot compare to the current existing distributed generation technologies that are out there at the moment? Yeah. So distributed power gen, it's not a new concept. It's something that's been around for a while. But there's pros and cons of these different technologies. So some are more efficient, but they might have more maintenance, or some are more maintenance heavy, uh, but less efficient. So uh, that's where we really, we touch on all the key points, or at least we think all the key yeah. points of, that these data center providers really care about uh, and offer them a you know, best in class type of a solution, or at least at the upper end of that. So efficiency, that's a huge one, right? Uh, and that's really what's gonna drive costs. So if you can convert a molecule of natural gas or diesel or propane more efficient into electricity, that's gonna reduce your costs. And so we're targeting an up to 50% fuel to electric efficiency, which we think that's in the best in class category. Uh, the average wall outlet in the US is 36% mm -hmm. efficient. So that's a, a pretty good little bump over that. And then maintenance is another big one. And uh, in our architecture of our system is just inherently designed for low maintenance. It's actually why the US Navy has selected us as one of their power plant options for their unmanned future autonomous vessels because there is no one on board to do maintenance on an engine. Uh, and that's where you know our system's really designed for that low maintenance aspect. So fuel efficient, low maintenance, I'd say those are the two big ones that these data center providers are really looking at. Where is Hylion in the Carnot generator development and how do you plan to scale up to meet demand? This Carnot technology, a little fun story, it actually came out of GE Aerospace. It was a Skunk Works development. They were working on jet engine and they said, can we make a new way of making electricity for the grid? Hence, uh, they created the Carnot, then Hylion acquired that. So where we're at is this has actually been in development since about the 2017 timeframe, uh, many iterations of the technology, uh, many improvements, and we're now at a, at a point now where we've just started deliveries out to customers. The US Navy is one of our early ones. We've also got deployments planned with some Fortune 500 companies. And then we're planning on in 2026, so next year, we actually move this into commercial launch. Thomas, in your opinion, what are the biggest barriers that Hylion must overcome to become a viable power source for data centers and how do you plan to address those? Sure, so data centers want to see, does this technology actually work in their applications and can you meet their scale, their demand? So on the actual showcase and the technology works, we've lined up early adopter customers that 
Uh, we'll take these units, run them in their use cases. We'll be able to show the reliability of the system, show the fuel agnostic capabilities, and show the, the uh, load following capabilities of the technology as well. And then once they see this as a viable solution for them, we wanna look at well, what's their growth trajectory? How many units do they need? And then we can go scale our capacity to match that. And data centers are known to seek technology with high, high reliability and safety. How can Hylion ensure the uptime and resilience with the new Carnot technology? So this is something, as I mentioned, it's been in development for uh, approaching a decade now. One of the big things we've been working on is reliability. Neat thing, there's only one moving part per shaft of our system, so it's inherently designed to be reliable, but obviously the data centers want to see, well, what's the actual mean time between failures and uptime of the system? So we're doing a lot of that testing uh, to be able to share that information with our customers, as well as since we have a program going with the Navy, they actually do a lot of that testing for us and a lot of times actually fund that testing as well. Uh, and then that's you know data and information that we can convey with our customers. So we realize it's one of their, their focus points. The only way to solve it is to really prove that you actually have that reliability and you've showcased it. And so that's what we're working on now. Thomas, thank you for joining us at Data Cloud USA and thank you for watching Capacity TV. Mm -hmm.